Okay, let's look at the next set of directions. You're given two equations, and you're asked to tell whether the pairs of lines listed are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Now, the way to approach this, this line is already in the form y equals mx plus b, and you can tell by looking at it, and I'm going to write this m sub 1, meaning the slope of line 1 is 3 halves, okay? So m sub 1 is 3 halves. When I look over here at this line, the number in front of the x is 1.5, and this is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Uh, you know, if it helps you to put this in the right order, this is really 1.5x plus 8, okay? 1.5 is the slope, it's in front of the x, so m sub 2 is 1.5. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Something's blooming. All right. This line has slope 3 halves. This line has slope 1.5. Well, 3 halves is really the same as 1.5. So this line and this line have the same slope. And whenever two lines have slopes and they're equal, we automatically know that the lines are parallel. So, any time any time m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2, you can conclude that the lines are parallel lines. Okay? Now, let's do it for the next problem. y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 so here, m sub 1 is 2 thirds. Here we have the equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. m sub 2 is negative 2 thirds. Now, obviously these two lines are not parallel. One has a positive slope, one has a negative slope. And what we just talked about is if the slopes are equal, you know, if they have slopes and they're equal, then we conclude parallel. Well, remember a little fact from your past. If two lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals of each other, then they're perpendicular. Now, a lot of times this problem tricks people because they go, oh yeah, these are opposite reciprocals. No, they're not. They're opposites, right? Two-thirds and negative two-thirds are opposite. But for two lines to be perpendicular, which means they have to meet at right angles, not only are they opposites, but they have to be opposite reciprocals. So, if this started off as two-thirds, this would have to be a negative three-halves. You got me? The opposite reciprocal, not just the opposite. So because of that, my conclusion here is that these two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Okay, so watch that. Don't fall for that trick. Two-thirds and negative two-thirds are opposites, but for perpendicular to be the choice, they have to be opposite reciprocals. So not only would you have to have changed the sign here, but you would have also had to change numerator and denominator, and that change had not been made. That's why the answer here is they're neither parallel nor perpendicular. Okay.